Hello, your I am Zardar and welcome to part 7 of my Goblins of Moria campaign which uh, it seems that I have forgotten about it but alas it is finally back and I'm really really sorry for just neglecting this one for uh, so long but it's just yeah I took a break then I came back and I had some other issues I had an accident with my bike the other day and yeah it all adds up and uh, I kind of just forgotten completely um, <clears throat> anyway so I, I need to take a look at what's going on here because I don't remember anything uh, okay building wise we're not caring too much because playing with goblins of Moria it's just that we need to expand just go full offensive uh, and just make sure that we capture enough settlements and then we can start you know making money via mines and all that uh, I know I haven't been offensive so far and the only reason for that was because I only needed to just take the high elves out I needed to stop um, you know to be neutral with uh, the Dunedain and I had to wait for the Dwarven Doomstack now that it's all gone we can start going offensive and no I didn't need to capture Goblin Town actually undoing capturing that is saving me a lot of trouble because now I can just destroy them quite easily uh, rather than destroying freaking goblins, uh, I mean trolls in there. So, um, bu 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 bu, we have an army here, so let's see, can we get any chaff? I wish I'll get some from here, or can we get from here? Nope, okay. So we got this boy coming here, we got these guys as reinforcements, can they get inside the city? Yes, they can. Excellent, and we'll just leave these okay how far exactly can they move okay we can leave him here if they decide to attack him we can easily uh, catch them I mean uh, outrun them we're gonna get some reinforcements from here and then we're gonna strike these guys in the back and then we're counter uh, we're gonna counter attack by going after goblin town we're safe from up here all we gotta do is take out the northern uh, northern Dunedine from uh, this place I'm pretty sure Dunland is gonna finish off Bree and then we will be free to go after Lothlorien and Vale of Anduin. I think we're gonna expand towards the east, not the west. <clears throat> it's fine, because as soon as soon uh, version 4 comes out, I'm gonna be playing an Angmar campaign and a Bree campaign, so all of that will be covered, you know, these areas into uh, those campaigns. Can we uh, recruit anything else? Even just some uh, chaff? Nope, okay. So you guys are going up there. You guys will be waiting here. The Northern Dunedain are sending some armies. And you champs just stay right there. I need these armies to actually drop in Fenos Drunin. So they will chase this army. And not this one, because this is an absolute garbage one. And now that I think about it, this guy costed, cost... Um, is it? correct if I say costed no I think it's cost 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 in all three um, whatever that grammatical thing I forgot about how to call it yeah uh, these guys cost in the uh, in the past like 400 something that's because they were like 200 models but now since they're gonna be stable in 77 I think it's all right if we get high chieftain Uglag out in the open and even these mountain Uruks although it needs to be later um, yeah in a couple of turns right now we're just gonna stick to what we are doing right here there's not much we get my spy over here um, you know what I'm gonna place him like here because I wanna check if Lothlorien also is gonna be making a move on me <clears throat> I don't know if I did the right thing. If we sally out from Imladris, is it gonna be an open field or is it gonna be outside of Imladris? Because if it's outside of Imladris, we're screwed. Um, Mount Gundabad besieged. You know, because of the map, that is. Alright, stay here. And, uh, oh yes, I need those uh, taskmasters to arrive. 
and let me see money is not going well it's all right as soon as we destroy these champs it's all gonna be all right uh, these guys cannot make it it's fine it's completely fine we just need to attack this guy if I attack with these ones will the general participate he cannot okay I'm not worried about this one with just a couple of units and even if it's cavalry they're not gonna ever take it now these ones I I'm gonna try to do the same thing that I did on episode 1 or 2 which is fight on a bridge because uh, I wanna pull off the same stand that I pulled against uh, the high elves and specifically I'm gonna be fighting in this bridge hoping that it's gonna be uh, the same uh, terrain as the one up here because you know it's a uh, Rivendell map so I expect all of the bridges to be like highly defensible with just you know high uh, ele elevated terrain so for now let's see how far they can reach okay let me see completely how much because we're blocking some of their movements all right so we're going here within the reach and we're gonna fall back let them chase us since this army has moved in Fenestrunen, we can go for Keloniak. Alright, great. And let's take care of this thing over here. I'm pretty sure I can just even auto-resolve. No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> what do they've got? I want to... I want complete control of all this. Uh, the menace here is obviously Woodman Crackers because of their uh, damage. We have like zero armor, so these guys will wreck us. Now the rest of the infantry will slowly collapse. Burnings should be uh, a minor problem. What is my army exactly? Let me just see real quick. Aha, aha, aha. Okay, at least we get melee units. That's new. Because <laughs> usually it's just <laughs> a swarm of snaga skirmishers. But it's gonna be alright. Oh, hmm, I forgot about that, I might say. Uh, let's start the battle. Oh shit, did I forget, uh, did I forget to uh, click? Oh crap, oh crap. Okay, let's see how it goes. If it goes badly, well, it's just gonna reload the battle. Um, Alright, you champs just uh, come like here. They will not cross the river, they will probably just go... Alright, you know what, just go offensive, because they will just F up. Just go. Shoot them, get them, do whatever you want. <clears throat> Alright, I'm expecting to leave their archers behind. So I can go in. Let's roll, let's roll. Is that, uh, that's Vel's men and Vel defenders, but I think it's gonna be alright. We can go in. What is this? Is it cavalry? Nope, it's burning seal breakers, bearers. Same stuff. Alright, great. Slow down, because it's lagging a little bit. Let's hit this one up for the rest of the boys. And let's keep getting towards this. Can you get from, oh, from over here? Come on, like this. Go, go, go. Let's get through. Ugh, that's gonna hurt. Just get through. I need you from over here. All right, go. Go into the back of these ones. Ignore all of the rest. That was pathetic, whatever it was. Uh, okay, screw it. We gotta go to the other flank because that's where we struggle. Are these... Have these ones left? I think they have. We can go back to the Woodman Crackers and we're gonna go from the, uh, to that place from this way. Come on, Wargs. Just do something for once. Their problem lies with the physics, you know, because they have, like, not so much speed, so they're not getting effective charges, even though they have, like, 8 charge bonus, if I'm correct. Yeah, 8 is, like, not to be messed with, but... You know, they're like walking, running slowly, and for some reason they're not getting like a great charging animation. Most of the times. But we're still doing it right here, <clears throat> and their army is wavering. I always keep doing that mistake, you know, I just keep uh, 
retreating temporarily from the battle in order to check uh, the numbers and all that. And uh, when I just reinitiate the battle, I forget to actually click command all armies. Um, actually, we could just ping pong back and forth. And I should be doing that. Let's go here. Let's hit this one up again. That's Veilsman. Uh, Veil Defenders. Oh shit, why did you charge like that? Go a little bit spread. Alright, broken, broken, broken. So just these earth that remain. So you see, uh, the Veil of Anduin is gonna be relatively easy to go uh, after because they don't have the greatest armor as well. So all these great numbers that we actually have will be quite strong against them. Not quite, quite a lot strong. Did we... Um, the enemy general is somewhere over here, but it was just a generic one. We can exit. And now, all we gotta do is rush towards um, Goblin Town. So, let's get everybody off except these lads. Okay, public order seems stable. And... Hmm. Yeah, let's go, let's go. We're gonna make it work somehow. Gonna keep bringing reinforcements. Uh, just issue these ones to be recruited. Over here we're waiting, these guys are moving to where they need to. Uh, being on the offensive and actually having victorious battles is making up a lot of money for us. Like you're gonna see my economy just start doing like majorly better. Okay, they're, they're preparing a doom stack to come after me. Okay, that's nice. They shall be put down in the breeds. Our Aduna is doing great. Uh, these rebels just keep appearing, it really irritates me, but we'll have to live with it. Um, I could throw this guy in there, but I'm afraid he might be cut off. Um, Okay, where did uh, the Veilsmen that were here go? Uh, ooh, that's tricky. That's real, real tricky. Hmm. Alright, let's drop them inside in Ladris. I want to block this way for the time being. Alright, you guys are doing great. You go straight for Keloniac. We're just gonna besiege it. If they want to sally out, they are free to do so, uh, but if we try to go in, we'll probably, like, even with a full stack of snagger, gonna get wrecked. Ah, oh, we have some goblins here. Ah, uh, they're not gonna make a difference. Let's not kid ourselves. Okay, what do we get here? Can we merge? No, but we can definitely get these guys out. How many are here? Five. Um, we need all of that. We can get these guys because they're beaten up quite majorly. Alright, that's it. New champs, uh, go here. Or should I keep them together? Alright, let's keep them together with these ones and if they come after us, just leave these ones to be massacred. Okay, things are going great. If I take Oblin Town, I'm gonna be making some major uh, casts. So you stay right there. And it all depends on what these guys are gonna do right here. Um, there's a slight chance they might come from here, so I will just keep my spy on this side, so I can see. From here it's not that possible, or is it? No, it's not. It's uh, Dunland right here. Okay, L oops, let's end the turn.
Okay, so they went back. They were just into some sort of an ambush or something. Darwinian, as usual, just Fs up. Khan stands with the starry. Every time I play a bad faction, they do that. Alright, we gotta actually push onto it. I need them to come after me. Yeah, let's go like here. Just within their vicinity. Alright, boys, let's bring you here. Since they're not coming from this way, I guess I'm... You know what? I'm gonna wait another turn because I really don't trust uh, my guts right here. Like, they might be. I don't know what this black is. It might be some devastation from them. So, just to be sure, we'll wait. And we'll just keep recruiting these bad boys. Alright, you get over there. You stand as you are. Let's make some easy money here. Um. Capture that as well. And let's do this. Okay, nothing major. Uh, attempt a night attack. Uh, yeah, why not? Now, do I attack with what I have or do I wait for reinforcements from Imladris? I think I should attack right now. Hmm. If I could get a spy from the other side, that would be really great. Because right now they, I can't see if they're going to be bringing some major reinforcements with most likely are gonna wreck my ass. <clears throat> Alright, that's a good front line. For goblins, that is. Alright, they don't have any missiles, so we can just stick like this. Uh, you guys go all like that. Actually, the Snagger just leave them out of that. Into non-group. Okay, and let's begin. Snaga, move up. Let's go fast. Let's even try to get a charge on them. Snaga, keep going from this place. U champs from here. Veilsmen and Woodman Warriors. Okay, we will be able to get a good charge on these ones. But on the rest, not so sure. Alright, try to come into as much high ground as we possibly as it's possible come on my wargs I really hope that all these guys are getting an armor upgrade uh, but I don't think that's the case oh my god they're going like real high okay we gotta like charge them and just force them to come towards us because it's gonna be like super hard up here All right, how many did we kill? 20% that's great now fall back what the hell are you doing? let them come towards us let them chase us alright uh, you can go even further towards up here just having the high ground is always great damn even with 20% Almost 20. They're still not coming. Okay. That's weird. Just try to shoot them in the back because they will... Uh, right now... Oh. Okay, they're actually coming. Let's keep falling back. Actually, let's move you towards here because I'm pretty sure they're going to be chasing the main army or even the wargs right there. So we can go behind them and just poke them in the back. And if they come after us, we'll just run the other way. That's right. Great lads. They get some seals, so we're not gonna be that effective, but it's okay. It's okay. Uh, Alright, I think I'm gonna charge with these ones. I don't want my taskmasters to suffer too much damage. Is there more from here? Nope, okay. Let's bring you from this place and let me just stop all the firing 
for the time being. Alright, you guys go. You go into their box. Are they web? Oh my god, they're broken already. Alright, both of you. Shoot these ones. Go in. And, alright, the battle is won already. Just make sure you catch them, boys. Just make sure you catch them. I don't have the fastest troops around. Oh my god, they're not gonna catch them. Oh, they actually changed route. Instead of keep going towards here, they're running on the exact opposite way. Well, for once, the AI actually hears my prayers. You know, just giving me a slight gift right here. Just these guys changing ways, so I won't have to chase them again or fight them even worse inside the city. And kaboom, enemy camp sucked, let's go after this one too, what is it? Oh, there's some woodman crackers here now. We really need to take care of them, like we can't leave anybody outside. And it's also like good, good, good money. Alright, same stuff. You guys go last. Snaga even more and you excellent uh, You guys stay something like this you champs like here You go forward same goes for you Group up And let's begin all right, let's go Going for some high ground, huh? Well, that's not gonna go too well for you. And let's hope... Okay. We can get a fine charge on the uh, Woodman Crackers, I hope. Yeah, we can. Good one. Really good one. How many did we kill? 30%. That means half of the units. Because it's two units on the field. Keep going after them. Um, Alright, you can fall back, actually. Just, nah, actually come on the flank. We'll just try to pull off the same thing. Although we get this guy to charge them in the back if need be. Alright, chase them down. What do we got? Are they coming after you? Alright, just fall back. But then again, now the archers are gonna start firing. They're in close range. Come on, just fall back. You're not gonna be needed. Oh, what the hell are you doing? Fire! Alright, and send all of my units on meta. Let's hit this one up. <clears throat> Go into their box. And let's make sure these guys will not be firing. That's all that was needed. Excellent. Ah, oh, we even killed a general. I wonder if killing a general, even though it's a generic one, it actually gives a lot uh, more experience. Because sometimes, you know, I just don't give a crap, you know, if I know it's generic general and I get like 90%, yeah, I'm out, exit the battle. But if I know for sure that killing at least a generic one is going to offer just a little bit more, I'll try to go more after them. Because it's just free kills, nothing else. Ah, damn it, we could have had a little bit of free upkeep. Uh, okay, well, um, you know what, I can throw these guys, why can they not get inside, are you kidding me? And out of a sudden, we now got some money, should I recruit from here or should I just wait, because yeah, these guys are coming online. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave like two of these, like four of these guys here, because they're gonna be like some sort of a strength, you know, if Kazadium comes under siege or something. And I'm gonna get Uglag to, uh, I don't know, just lead somewhere. The Northern Dunedain still are taking off. Oh, it's the same turn, I'm sorry. 
I'm really, really sorry. How many of these do we get here? Four. So we're getting all of the rest. Uh, we cannot. Okay. Next turn, that is. Shit, they just recruited inside Goblin Town. Crown of Kant is dead, rumors of the Staris, Turlutsa Kant lost, Holmberg, Brie, recruitment, and end of turn report. Oh, I'm doing well financially. What the hell? What the actual effing hell? Alright, so you champ go there. We're recruiting these ones now, which means Uglag can start coming. What is he gonna lead? I would prefer him to lead here instead of this guy, so let's send him right there and as soon as we get over there we can just send uh, Lunug to the Keloniac front. Two more turns, so can they make it here? They probably cannot, so we're gonna be alright. Okay, that's as far as they can reach, let me just scoop around. I wanna see if there's gonna be anything waiting for me. Oh crap, now I can't see them. Uh, okay, let's go here. Mm. Wait outside. Same goes for you. And let me just merge what I can. Okay, four. All of you come here. Excellent. Come up this way. Let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's gonna be hard. We just uh, need more numbers. We'll just keep going. How many more are we gonna get? Can we get anything from here? Not really. In one turn we're gonna have these guys. Uh, okay, not enough money. Hmm. Alright, just do this and drop this guy right here and keep going. Okay. Alright, that was what I was expecting for. Now we fall back towards that bridge. We let them come after us and if we take them down... Oh man, man, that's a full stack. I wasn't pre prepared for a full stack. I thought it would be something like 15 units. This might be a small problem, but we're gonna deal with it. We are gonna deal with it. Okay. Mm, how far can they reach? Hmm, some ruder wouldn't hurt. We can get rid of one snagger, we can get this ruder. What else? Not much. Let's go for the taskmasters. Did we get this guy? Okay, great. Um, just send him there. He's gonna cost quite a lot for some time. Alright, keep getting towards up here. Uglag. Champs, this way. Uh, I think it's a better idea if you... If you are together. If you, you know, reach that place together. We might get attacked here. Slight freaking chance of that happening. But we're now building a relatively big army. Alright, just move up to there. And, um, yeah, it's all gonna happen here. Keloniac is gonna fall. Either way, if they sally out or not. These guys can reach quite a lot. 
Hmm. Is it gonna be better if I just go like here, completely avoid them? I mean, I'm besieging Keloniak, so they might, you know, start going after this one. But then again, it's gonna fall. But it's gonna fall in the end turn. Hmm. Ah, right, you know what? Let's do it. Let's fall completely back. And let's see. Let's wait for Uglak to arrive here, because obviously <clears throat> he's gonna be like a really fine addition to our army. Oh, he made it. Alright, so we now got them in our lands. Uh, that's a keep. Well, we can suck it. There's not too much population anyways in here. Uh, so we now lost the advantage of the breeds. Hmm. Well, well, well. If I go again to the bridge, will they come after me or just go straight for Bregost? They'll probably go straight for Bregost. Um, although they seem to be fixated on this army. Um, Get ready for any mercenaries from down here? Nope. Anybody who can join from this place? Nope. How about here? Well, we can just recruit this guy and have this guy go outside. And Uglag, even though that was my goal, cannot make it. That's such a big turn off. And this is actually a really good army. Although it's an Eric one, they don't have a head. Man, have I fa had I faced this one on the bridge, it would be a lot, lot better, I reckon. It might be a good idea to actually go for Bruinost. Hmm. I mean, go and defend Bruinost. Because all that cavalry, uh, for, we can't make it inside. Ooh, that's tricky. That's real tricky. Alright, let me just bother with this up here two more slots uh, what are we gonna need infantry obviously well <laughs> we don't have any infantry okay we got some here um, if I drop you in there can you merge with somebody yes you can okay great so you will have to go there and you too and you will take care of that single unit outside. Um, can uh, can I merge? Nope. All right, just drop this guy there. Get these two in there. You can just come outside and help out with some of these men. Most of them can make it outside. Let me see. Ah, we can draw them outside if we want to. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, well, not with these kind of troops. I left my taskmasters behind. Oh man, I feel I effed up here. I should have gone for that bridge. I definitely should have. Go for the Shrine of Melkor. And let's see. Can we just leave like two of these lads here? Yeah, actually we can. What if we press for Tirthuin? I don't see any major forces and let's even look around. Perhaps Angmar is pushing after them quite hard. Nerven is here. Dunedain bodyguards. It's just a token force but quite strong against us. We get some taskmasters, we get some healmen, we get some mobility. Mm, I reckon we can do this. I'm gonna fight here if they decide to come after me, because they might go back. They might actually go back. Can anybody? Alright, so you just stay right here. Um, and I'll even have Uglag here I don't want him though to be all by himself so let me see 
Mm. These are missiles, so let's move them here. They will not F up that badly. So let's do this. And let's even bring uh, bring these guys. Are they gonna make it? Nope. But it's alright. Alright, we shall step onto their lands. Just eyeing for tier 3. In. I wanna see how they're gonna respond. This force might actually head back. I hope it's gonna head back. But then again, if they don't, like, with Uglag here, I feel much, much safer. Because he's got some basic armor, and if we, if he's used, like, correctly, collapse from one flank, he can pretty much wreck them hard. Remember what happened to the dwarves, like, well, he had, like, 200 units, uh, models, back then, because he hadn't, uh, so battle. And that was on purpose, because I knew, like, if he fought at least once, he would lose models, which would be real precious against the dwarfs but yeah the, the the thing is like he hold all of the right flank and actually won it by himself with just snag around him like it wasn't like major stuff the taskmasters and all the rest were just uh, you know spread all over my front lines all right they didn't come after me Oh, that's even better, because if they besiege him Ladris, we can go into their backs, and we're still gonna get a bridge, and guess what, it's gonna be an elven one, although we already fought in this one, it's just a flat one, which is alright, but, look at this, look at this, all I have to do is, like, uh, me, uh, crap, do we have a night attack, I just wanna kill this army first, alone, Am I gonna step on... Oh crap, I'm gonna step here. Okay, you know what? I'm sorry. I have up. I just... W I wanted to remake my army before I actually attacked, but, you know, just excitement, pure excitement that uh, it turned out quite well for me. Both against the Dunedain and also the Vale of Anduin. So I get carried away. I need to form up my army first. All right. So let's see how many. S oh my God, that's a lot of snagger dudes. Dudes, get out of here. Um, how many archers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which means these guys can go off as well. Uh, how many snagger? Let's just keep four for the time being. Let's see how much infantry we have. Alright. Ah, we get some. We get some. Alright, let's make it down to two. That's all I need, you know, I just... In order to force them towards me. Although four shouldn't be a bad idea, but... These guys are doing great on, uh, you know... Um, AI controlled. Because they're just so shit, like... Doesn't matter what they do. As long as they provide extra numbers. It's always gonna feel great to have them around. Okay, um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight archers. This guy's beaten up, so let's move up uh, a fresh one. Uh, two snagger. I think that's all right. Or should it be? You know what? I'm gonna remove two archers. I'm I'm gonna get four snagger because these guys are just such a great control tool to have. And uh, these guys can come here and they will support me, obviously. So let's quick save before I F up again. Let's go after this one. I'm gonna attempt a night attack because I wanna draw the whole garrison out if it's that's gonna be possible. Um, although it's my thing not to do that, but... Hmm. Well, then again, the same thing is gonna happen. I mean, I'm gonna besiege them and they're gonna sally out most likely because they feel like they can win against me. So, like, we're, we're not gonna see... Uh, I'm saying this, like, because we're not gonna be seeing uh, the settlement anyways. Goblins do not count so much in the balance of power, unfortunately. Actually, it's fortunate, like, it's a great thing when the AI actually underestimates you, because they always F up when they do that. Right, you know what, I'll just go up here. 
uh, Snaga, you can come along, you too. Oh, did they have any archers or was it just Veilsmen and... Alright, it's just Veilsmen and Burnings. Which, seem, uh, which means the Snaga will have to do all the heavy lifting. Um, although, let's see if just one charge... Ah, no, 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 no. They're going for some real weird spots. Let's bring it from over here. Yeah, we're not we're not doing that. Just to be sure, I'm gonna move my line. Oh, I can actually get up here. Well, great. I didn't realize that. Wait, are they did they catch me? Where are these two? Keep coming up this way. You guys keep going up there. Go go go. Full high ground, I see, huh? Well, that's a great idea, but it's not gonna work. Come on, you guys in the front can shoot. These morons are gonna get on melee if they keep going like that. What the hell? Are you guys nuts? Well, it's fine by me, because I'm gonna have the high ground here. They're going on the edge. Alright, let's have, like, two from this side and two go from... Uh, can you go from up here? Yes, you can. <clears throat> yes, you definitely can. Ah, oh, not from there. Not uh, not from there, you morons. From here. That's right. <laughs> ah, are they coming? Go, Skirmis. Alright, come this way, come this way. We might get a chance. What the hell? Didn't I tell you to go on Skirmis? Oh, that's another unit. Um, are they gonna ignore us? For real. <laughs> oh, shit. I think we triggered them. Eh, run! Run, my brave snagger. I should not have done that. Alright, you get up here. How many did we kill? 5%. Okay, that means they're coming. Screw it. Just run back. Where are you? Oh, you can add some pressure then. Keep running, Snaga. Keep running. No, come from over here. Run. Run, my brave little goblins. I always fall for that. I always just go into such bad spots. But it's freaking Snaga. Like, who honestly cares? Come on. Run. Are they gonna come back for these ones? Why are you not shooting jabs? Like, what are you waiting for? This might be the only weakness of these guys, like, they're constant F-ups. <coughs> Alright, they have made it here. I hope, come on archers, you have such a good line of sight, you should be able to shoot them quite from afar. Why are you guys winded? Ah, because you run all the way up to here. Ah, acceptable. Oh man, even with the seals, just look at the damage. Just because of that slight high ground. You, Come on, just leave me alone. I'm not bothering you. I think we have to bring these Snaga from over here, so they will come for the main army. Keep coming, lads. They cannot catch you. You are the wind. Run, little goblins. Run. And open fire. No, like oh, I ran out of ammunition. No, I still got some. Why are you not shooting? Come on, go. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Nice. And there it is. Alright, chase them down. Everybody. Stop firing. Alright, that is it. Forgot to kill the general, but as I said, I don't know if he gives extra experience, so it's fine.
Alright, let's merge some of the stuff. Nothing major happened. We can even bring these guys, and of course we're gonna bring these guys to help out. Oh, I didn't check if there's mercenaries. Okay, there are not. Alright, boys, recruit everything here. And, um. What time is it? No, it's time to end the episode, so I'll just. And it's right key. Oops, wrong letters. What the hell? <laughs> there we go. That's better. Did it overwrite or no? Okay. So I really, really hope you enjoyed, guys. Feel free to leave a like or a comment. Feel free to subscribe if you're not, and hit that notification button. And yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.